The day began as usual. The sun rose and ordinary people went about their ordinary business. At one point, it seemed that everything would be as always. But then, Sean Karpinski, a truck driver transporting hazardous materials, decided to spice up the monotony with excessive indulgence. He spiced up not only his own routine but that of all humanity, plunging it into an unrestrained party. Everything that happened before no longer mattered. On another crappy day, our hero woke up in his shelter. Looking at the shelves, he discovered that the liquid preventing infection from the raging zombie virus was running out. The nearest place to replenish it was Triss's bar. It seemed simple enough to go to the bar and restock. Everything was going as usual. But damn it, where did that tanker come from? Now there's no Triss's bar. It lives with our hero. The question of the elixir's availability remained open. Together, they decided to ride out of town to the shelter of Preacher, an old friend of Triss. The Preacher makes an excellent drink. The road was not easy, and difficulties awaited them in the cabin. Bad roads. Vehicle breakdown. Annoying zombies. In the end, they had to burn everything and run, breaking through the cluttered streets and rampaging monsters. Now there were three of them, not counting the dog and slow, eager to replenish their supplies of weapons, food and raw materials for making the fiery elixir, they stormed the police station. The difficulty was that all the military, guards and police officers had not fully mutated and had turned into neuro-zombies. With basic military skills, they aggressively guarded their dwellings. Having obtained what they needed, Triss, the Preacher, and our hero moved on. Realizing that if they cleared the underground tunnel leading to the hypermarket, they should have enough supplies of sugar, food, and disinfectant for a long time. There wasn't much to think about, and there was no time to waste. Onward to adventure. And what happens next? You decide.